Okay, so this is gonna be my May empties. And as usual, I'm gonna start with the makeup products and then I'll go on to the separate categories. I split all my empties videos up into like makeup, skincare, hair care, lotions, etc. The timestamps will all be linked down in the description box and probably in the comments for you guys so it's easy to bounce around between the different categories. Starting off with one of my all-time favorite eyeliners. This one, it was just a deluxe eye sample. This is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen and this one showed up in a Sephora play box. I really love this liner. As you can see there, it is a brush tip, it's not a felt tip, and it just glides so easily, especially right at the inner corner of the eye. It never runs out of ink, it never picks up the liner that's already been laid down if you have to go over it multiple times. If you've ever had that happen, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, love this one to pieces. I've actually finished off a full size of this as well, but I have already repurchased this or else I would be buying another one. This one's great. If you haven't tried it out yet, I highly recommend it. I also have a liquid lipstick here. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips. I did pick up a backup of this at the most recent Sephora VIB sale. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up in the card up there but it's an extremely long video but I did pick up a backup of this this is one of my favorite lipstick shades as you can see it's almost like a pinky nude kind of mauve sort of color it has just the slightest bit of like a purple tone to it this is one of the bare minerals gin nude matte liquid lip colors this one is in the shade slay it is gorgeous I did take the stopper out of this and I was scooping down to get the very last little bit out of the bottom but I kind of gave up after I got down to about right there so anyway uh, this one's been around for long enough like I said I did pick up a backup of this I love this color I love this formula it doesn't dry out the lips uh, it almost leaves like a moussey feeling on the lips and I really 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 love this shade if I don't know what to wear this is what I always reach for I also have a lip gloss here this is one of the grande lips hydrating lip plumpers and this actually came out of a set from Grande Lips. There was like a little trio. The set was sent to me complimentary from Grande Cosmetics, but this was a fantastic set. It had a clear one, it had this nude one, and then a pink one that's kind of similar to what I have on my lips right now. So as you can see, it does have a little bit left at the tip there, but I can't click it out. It sticks and it won't push any more product out. So as you see there, it's done. Unless I pry this top portion, the little silicone applicator tip off, you can't get the last little bit out of here, but these really do plump the lips. The first time that you apply them to the lips, they feel a little hot. I would say it's less intense than the Too Faced lip injection. So if you feel like that one's too hot, maybe try this one. These are $27 on their own, but you can buy the Trio Pack, like what this one came in, for $27 and you get to try out three different shades. So highly recommend these. Definitely love the clear one and this nude one. I think this was, um, I'll put the name of this nude shade specifically right here because I can never remember it. It's like sunbaked something, but beautiful color. I think it would be a universally flattering color for a lot of people. Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, just a little travel size. I took this when we went to New York and I fell back in love with it. And it just helped to keep my makeup on a little bit longer if I had a lot of powder on the face. It just kind of like melded it into the skin a little bit better. The spray on this is awesome. I think I'm definitely gonna keep this around and maybe put a different spray in here one that doesn't have as fine of a mist, but the mist on this product is top notch. Definitely a fantastic item. I have this little guy here. This showed up in a Sephora play box as well. This is the Bobbi Brown Extra Illuminating Moisture Balm. And like I said, it's just a little deluxe size. I'm not sure if these come in other shades. This one on the back says Bare Glow, so maybe that's the specific shade of this. This was extremely subtle. Let me see if I can get anything out of here. Okay, yeah, I got the tiniest little bit it out so if I rub it in maybe you can see it just provides the slightest bit of a sheen to the skin so it was okay um, yeah this one smells like patchouli it's very strange to me but 
it was okay. I wouldn't ever go and purchase that in the full size. I also have this item here. I wasn't quite sure if I should put this in the skincare or the makeup. Anyway, you let me know what you would categorize this as, but this is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum. This little devil here, this was sent to me complimentary from Grande Cosmetics oh it was last year i think it was more towards the end of the year because i used this for about four to five months now anyways this product i had a plethora of issues with this so I love their eyelash serum. That stuff is one of my holy grail products. You actually get a little bit more product in the Grande Brow than you do in the Grande Lash, but this has a little bit of a bigger applicator here. The brush tip on the end is a little bit bigger. It definitely helped my brow hairs look more apparent. I feel like I had brow hairs coming in in spots that I don't normally have them coming in. This did help my brows to look a lot fuller than they did previously, but this made me break out an insane amount. I had texture all over my forehead. I still have a little bit left uh, texture-wise, but it's a thousand times better than what it used to be, but it's gonna take me a good probably two months to have everything clear up from this product. So because of that, I probably wouldn't purchase this in the future, but I did see benefits from this. I did see some growth in the brows, so Oh man, it's tough because I, I want to have full brows, but I definitely don't want to battle with a textured forehead at the cost of having fuller brows. So if you don't have a negative reaction or an adverse reaction to biotin, you might really enjoy this product. I have one perfume item. There is a little card sample of the Victor and Roll Flower Balm perfume. This is one of my all-time favorite perfumes. Um, I actually started using this in 2007, so it's been about 11 years now that I've been using this perfume. I love it. I've used quite a few of the full-size bottles, like the 3.4 fluid ounce bottles. I think I've used up three of them in the past, but this smells so good. It's like a sweet floral kind of fragrance, but I don't typically lean towards floral perfumes, but this is definitely one that I am captivated by. Love the fragrance on this. It's so good. It's definitely one of Sephora's best sellers. Very nice perfume. I have some skincare products now. One of my all-time favorite items from Clinique is the Take the Day Off makeup remover for the lids, lashes, and lips. This is a really mild and gentle makeup remover. Love this stuff. You do have to shake this before you use it, so if you're not one for like like an oilier makeup remover, maybe steer clear of this, but it's really good. It's very mild and I have repurchased it numerous times in the past. I finally finished off one of my sunscreens. This is the Herbalife Skin 5 Protective Moisturizer and Broad Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. It was all right. It did have a very strong fragrance. Not quite sure that I can describe the fragrance. Um, it was okay. Uh, it did leave a slight cloudy look to the skin. So I like to put sunscreen on my tattoos over here on my arm and any other exposed tattoos specifically. And sometimes sunscreens can leave a white cast to your skin so it makes your tattoos look less vibrant and it just makes them look kind of old and dull. Um, this one did that just a tiny bit, but I do have other ones that don't do that, so I probably won't be picking this one up again in the future. Another Clinique item I have is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. I've used this one for about 11 years too. It's one of my all-time favorite face lotions. It doesn't have SPF in it. I wish they would come out with a version that does, but it's fantastic. I have dry skin and this works great for me. I also have this little item here. This is just a little sample. This is the Chanel Hydra Beauty the Intense Smoothing Hydration Eye Gel. Holy cow, I don't know why that was so difficult. So it's just a little deluxe size here. When I got the Chanel highlighter for my husband and my daughter, um, they had some samples and this was one of them. I do have a second one of these, so I'm working on that now. I honestly don't feel like this did anything. Um, I put this down on bare skin and then I would put my regular eye cream over the top and I couldn't tell a difference. Um, if I put this on just by itself after about five or 10 minutes you couldn't feel anything under the eyes so I definitely will not be picking this one up in the future. I also have this item here. This is the Lush Odafix Freight Fresh a face mask. That is a lot of alliteration. I really wish that there was something that they could do so these products don't expire so quickly, but you have about a week 
um, about probably 10, seven to 10 days before these expire when you purchase them. But if you keep the containers, you can take in six of them. Is it six? And you can exchange it for a free face mask. Oh, five of them. I'm sorry, I thought it was six. So you take in five of these when you're done with them, just the little black pots and you get a freebie of one of these. I have probably 10 different kinds of face masks. This one's okay. I like to go back to this one every now and again, but there was a little bit left in this one before I was able to finish it off. Like there's a little bit left in here that I have to clean out before I put it in my bag of my empties to take back to them. This item showed up in a recent uh, Vox box from Influencer. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, and I usually get the one that has the pink Cap. I've never tried this one with the blue cap before. Uh, it's just a little deluxe size of it though. This is their all-in-one waterproof micellar water and it's for sensitive skin. There's no alcohol or fragrance in this or oil. So this was nice. It was really difficult to get out of here in this little like deluxe size version, but maybe I'll keep this around for putting other eye makeup removers in here because it was really handy to take traveling and everything. I don't know, I'm a little conflicted about this. I'd rather use something like the Clinique eye makeup remover that I just showed you over this item. I just felt like this took probably twice as long to get my eye makeup off. And I do have the pink one of the Garnier Micellar Water and I like that one a little bit better because I use it for all over the face. I don't like using this one all over the face. You have to shake this before you use it. So I almost feel like there's some kind of oily residue. I know this doesn't have oil in it, but I almost feel like I'm left with some kind of oily residue on the skin. So I feel like I need to rinse my face even though it says you don't have to. So. I don't know, if you've tried both of them, let me know which one you prefer and why, if there's a specific reason why, just, I'm curious. I also have two of these number seven Instant Results Revitalizing Hydro Gel Eye Masks here, and I love these things. I got these sent to me complimentary from number seven. These had this really beautiful sheen to them. It was like this bluish teal sheen. So when you put them underneath the eyes, the portion that was right out here almost looked like highlighter on the skin. These adhere really well to the under eye skin and they don't slide down. That might seem kind of insignificant, but the fact that you don't have to sit there and like keep pushing the eye gel back up every 30 seconds is it's really nice not to have to do that so I really like these and they smelled great too so I just kept them on for about 15 20 minutes because I liked the way that it felt so these were great I really enjoyed those I think I might have one more of those left I have some hair products now um, let's see we'll start with this one this is the Swab professionals keratin infusion color care dry shampoo and they have or they used to have two different kinds of their dry shampoo. They used to have the color care version, it says it right there, or they had just their regular dry shampoo. And I always used to buy this one. I used to really enjoy the fragrance, but now I've used it for so long. I've probably used this for like two and a half years. I'm kind of over the fragrance. I'm kind of over the way that this one performs. I've tried so many other dry shampoos that I feel like are a hundred times better than this one. This one's good, it's like five bucks at like Walmart, I believe, is the place where I picked these up. It's okay, it's good. I used to really love it, but I've moved on to, to some other ones that I prefer over this one. I also have a deep repair mask right here. This is the Macadamia Professional Nourishing Moisture Mask and this is just their deep conditioner mask. They recently repackaged these, I would say probably within the last year or so, and if you wanna pick up the one that's the same as what it was before they did the whole repackaging thing, because they have two different versions of this out now and they look identical, if you look right here, there's a texture part right here and it says for medium to coarse. That's the one that smells identical to what they had before, and I feel like it's the same formula as before they repackaged. Anyways, this is supposed to reconstruct, revitalize, and repair your hair. It has their Pro Oil Complex in here, which is a macadamia and argan oil blend. It says that it is color safe, cruelty free, and free of sulfates, parabens, and gluten. So this is a really nice hair mask. I usually always pick this up from Ulta when they have it 50% off. Usually when they do the 21 days, what's the hair one? It's like the 21 days of beauty, but the hair version. 
Uh, it's like the hair event. For some reason, my brain is just not functioning right now. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, they generally they'll have this probably once or twice a year for 50% off, and that's usually when I pick it up. I have a shampoo here. This is so good. This is one of my all-time favorite shampoos that I've tried in a very long time. This is the Swab Professionals Caffeine and Chia Infusion Thick and Full Shampoo. This is for normal to weak hair, and it's supposed to strengthen as well as pure strength cure. I love the fragrance of this. I love the texture on this product. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. This was recently in a favorites video of mine. If I can remember which one it was, I'll link it up in the cards above, but it smells really good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This smells like a high-end shampoo. So if you're in the market for a new shampoo, I definitely recommend this one. I touched up my roots at the end of May. I just used another one of these from the drugstore. These are about $3, just under $3 from Walmart. These are the Revlon Color Silk hair dye in number 11, which is soft black. I just feel like it's the easiest and the cheapest if I just want to touch up the roots and it takes probably an hour and I'm done. You only leave it in the hair for like 15 minutes or so, but it's quick, it's a fast process. Moving on to some lotions. I have some lotions for the body and then I also have some hand creams. Uh, I'll start out with the body lotion. So I finally finished this one off. This is the Body Shop Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Butter right here. This was okay. I've been trying to finish this one off for a little while now. It's finally done. Um, I do have a video on all of my body lotions and body butters and everything, like an inventory video. I do have quite a back stock. I'm trying to work through them, most of them before the end of the year. Uh, but this one, it wasn't my favorite. I definitely prefer the Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom over the Body Shops. I also have this one here. This one showed up in a Sephora Play Box. This is the L'Occitane Amon's Milk Concentrate with almond milk. This smelled so good. If this wasn't $50 in the full size, I think it's about seven or eight ounces in the full size. It's, it's way too expensive to purchase for seven or eight ounces on its own. So I love the fragrance of this. Maybe if they have some kind of gift set or travel size set available during Christmas or the holidays, then I'll pick it up. But otherwise, I, I just really savored this a lot. I have two hand creams here. This first one, this is the Dianus Goat Milk Skincare Hand Cream. And this one's in the fragrance Sea Treasures. My husband got me a, like a pack of four or five of them. And I think I'm down to my last one or two. This is such a good hand cream. I'd say out of everything that I've tried here, out of all the lotions, this one's probably the most hydrating. The scent Sea Treasures on this one wasn't my favorite. I think my favorite one was like Wildflower, or Wild Sea Flower or something. That one was really good. It has blue packaging, but um, this one was okay. I feel like I have a hair tickling me. This had like a sweeter floral fragrance, but it was fresh at the same time. It was kind of confusing for me, but it was it was a really good formula. I like this formula. I think somebody told me last time that this brand is available at Ulta. I also see it at TJ Maxx, if I'm not mistaken. The final hand cream that I have is one that was actually sent me complimentary from the brand through the Octoly website, but this one is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Touch hand cream, if I can get it standing up here. I did cut it open so I could get every last drop out of this, but if you really enjoy the fragrance of the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, then you will love this product. A lot of people don't like the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, the one that comes in the tub, because it has those really fine micro shimmers. I really like to put it on my tattoos so they kind of, if the direct sunlight hits it, you can kind of see them and it just provides a really pretty subtle sheen in the sunlight, but this one didn't have those little shimmers. So if you like the fragrance and you like the formula of the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, try this one. Um, it's relatively cheap, I would say. This is about 15 bucks. You can find it at Sephora and also on their, on the Sol de Janeiro website. But this has that salted caramel and pistachio fragrance. It smells so good. Love it. I got every last little speck of this out of here. I'll definitely be repurchasing this in the future. Love this to pieces. Loved everything about it. And finally, for my empties, I have some miscellaneous like bath products, I guess, or bathroom items. The first one is another product from Sol de Janeiro. This one was also sent to me complimentary from Sol de Janeiro through Octoly, but this is the uh, Boom Boom Bath Bomba. 
and this one smelled identical to the same kind of salted caramel and pistachio fragrance like the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. It was really nice because it had the like a white tan side and then it also had that tealish blue side and I actually cut mine in half and then I chopped it up into like eight pieces and I put half of it in one bath and half of it in the second bath. The scent on this was amazing. It was a little bit more subtle than I was expecting but maybe it was just because I was in the bathroom with the fragrance because my daughter came in after I was done and she was like wow it smells really great in here and it was all because of this. So if you really like the fragrance, definitely pick one of these up maybe for like a weekend or a treat yourself kind of product because you can cut these in half. I noticed that it did leave my skin feeling really soft and I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. So this was a great product. It didn't leave the bath water super blue. It was just kind of like a light aqua teal sort of shade, but these were great. I might pick up another one of these probably during the semi-annual sale or the VIB sale, I guess, from Sephora in November. And then the final product that I have for my empties is the Colgate Optic White toothpaste right here. Sometimes I throw them in, sometimes I don't, but this one was in the flavor Sparkling White and it was good. I like this. And so. that is it. Those are all the products that I was able to finish off in the month of May. I really appreciate you guys watching. And if you've tried any of, the, any of those, definitely let me know what you thought about them too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.